What are the chances that LeBron comes back to Cleveland? 50-50. Uh, prior to the season, I heard that the three candidates would be Miami, Cleveland, and New York, that he had no desire to be in L.A. I've heard also that L.A. feels differently uh, and that they would obviously uh, uh, pursue it if the opportunity was there. Um, I've also heard that the Knicks have fallen out because the mess that they have the potential to be because of how things are handled from a business perspective in New York, just the whole, you know, everybody in on things, it just seems chaotic. It's not, it's something that uh, has become a relative turnoff, even though having a billionaire owner who can give you connections to Wall Street, if you're an aspiring billionaire like LeBron James is, anything's possible and you'll entertain all the possibilities. But in the end, it comes down to Cleveland and Miami. Miami is a first-class organization. I think it would be absolutely insane for anybody to leave Miami. I'm a native New Yorker, and if I was a member of the Miami Heat, I ain't leaving. Why? Because I think Mickey Harrison is a great owner. I think Pat Riley is a great executive. I think the people that he has under him in terms of executive, down to players, down to equipment managers and security and everybody else, it's all first class. It's a big-time family affair down there, and the palm trees in South Beach don't hurt. But home is home, and LeBron still has his mansion in Akron for a reason. He still has roots and connections to Akron for a reason. And from what I'm being told, there is something inside of him that feels as if, you know, he kind of owes it to go back once he's completed his mission here. Not to mention the fact that Dwayne Wade, his health is questionable. And you don't know what the future holds for him. And so as a result of it, it's possible LeBron is not talking about it. I haven't spoken to LeBron or anybody close to him that has told me these things. These are things that I'm hearing from other folks. But I trust those other folks. And I'm telling you right now, it's a better than 50-50. It's, it's, it's a, not better, but it's a 50-50 shot that LeBron James will end up back in Cleveland. You have to remember, they have the ability to clear additional space to bring him on board. You can move a couple of these contracts like Waiters and Var Anderson Barajal and, and, and clear an additional 12 to $13 million. Uh, Cleveland gets LeBron. You've got a Kyrie Irving. You've got some other pieces that you can add in place because of the monetary uh, situation that you've placed yourself in. Cleveland will definitely be an instant title contender if they get their hands on, on LeBron James because they'll be able to get a couple of pieces. But again, it's hard for me to imagine him leaving South Beach, but I'm told it is a 50-50 possibility, if not better, wow. that he will return home. If not better. If not better. Now, now I'm double shocked. I was shocked enough at 50, but you just added if not better, yes, so sir. it could be 55 or 60. Yeah. It could be the odds on favorite for him to go back to it's Cleveland possible. from what you're hearing. That's from what I'm hearing. I, I am blown away by that. I, I would be astounded if LeBron James even seriously entertained the notion of going back to Cleveland and recreate the same nightmare that he lived for so long with the Cavaliers. Stephen A., unless you tell me that Carmelo's going back with him or somebody's going back with him, I don't know who, who would be even be available. There's no way he would do this. He wouldn't subject himself to the same things that he went through before. I love Kyrie, but he's not that great. He's not a, a game changer, not a difference maker. And they just, to me, wasted a pick on Anthony Bennett. Are you Wait, kidding? It's a wasted Come pick. On, what, what that, that makes about? them look very, very bad. It looks terrible. There's just not enough left in the cupboard. And you hit the key for me. It's Dwayne Wade. Now, he doesn't play every game, but when he does play this year, he looks like Dwayne Wade to me. Yes. Now, can he continue that for two more years, three, four, five more years? He's 31 years of age. Could he have some more knee surgery in an offseason that would, would return him back to Dwayne Wade levels and keep him up until he's 35 or 36? Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, because that's the secret here in Miami is how long will Dwayne Wade last? And that remains a, that remains a question. He can opt out of his contract. They can restructure and give him a pay cut or whatever the case may be. Dwayne Wade is going to have some things to consider this summer. Uh, there's no doubt about that, as will Chris Bosh, even though I suspect that he'll opt in and just stay and collect his I money. I think so. Uh, but, but the thing about it is that, and again, this is just me spectating, watching the Miami Heat. Um, 
the San Antonio Spurs and the Miami Heat are the two best organizations in the sport. It's just that simple. Uh, from the top down, they are just elite at what they do and how they go about doing it. And you can't find a better salesman than Pat Riley. No. Nope. Uh, so much is owed to Dwayne Wade because he's the guy responsible for bringing all of this together because LeBron James doesn't come to Miami if it were not for Dwayne Wade. But the flip side to it is that, and this is just me watching the team and watching basketball. This is not me talking to anybody within the Heat organization or anything like that. There's a lot of stuff that's put on, on LeBron James. He does everything. I mean, this is almost like Cleveland all over again, except that obviously when Dwayne Wade plays, you know, he can deliver the goods for you. Chris Bosh can deliver the goods yeah. for you. Uh, uh, you have a better possibility of getting a Ray Allen to come to Miami for less, a Shane Battier to want to be there. The list goes on and on if you're asking them to come to South Beach as opposed to Cleveland. So all of these things, I don't blame you for feeling that way. But again, if you're LeBron, talking about a great, great story, Think about it, because, again, he's a champion now. And when you've won championships, you get to pick and choose the circumstances and conditions under which you want to inherit. And that's the situation that he's in right now. We're looking at Cleveland. He doesn't see Cleveland. He sees home. And not to say that he thinks Cleveland is home. It's Akron that's his home. Yeah. But you see the opportunity to go there and deliver something the city has never had. Okay? You combine that with everything else he's got going on for himself. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. And I was told that, look, it's a better than 50-50 shot. I mean, you can't ignore Miami because you can't ignore the fact that it's just a better situation from the top down organizationally, geographically, just accomplishments, tradition. They are, they've got it all. But if you're LeBron and you have it all, what else is there to accomplish there other than more rings?